My name is Patrick Tomlin, and I am Associate Director for Learning Environments at Newman Library. Uh, which means I get to work with a group of amazing people responsible for really a diverse range of services and resources at the library, from circulation and reference to our ever on the move student services team, uh, events planning, course exhibits, the 3D design studio, our 3D printing lab, the list really goes on and on. The library's changing, and it's changing to meet the evolving needs of 21st century students. We are reimagining our spaces to enable students to collaborate, create, and make an impact on the world. Academic libraries are, are changing in, in radical ways sometimes. Uh, the idea of what a library collection is may change as we uh, increasingly move into the digital realm. But I think that libraries have always served a symbolic role as a, a place in which uh, learning happens. But I think that the 21st century library and the 21st century librarian has become an expert in uh, creating spaces uh, where experiential learning can take place, where collaborative learning and dialogue can take place, uh, and learning can be pushed into new, uh, different directions. So if you were to walk out onto the library commons at Newman, uh, you would see students engaged in group work and all different kinds of collaboration in socializing, maybe even a little bit of sleeping during exams, and that's perfectly all right. Um, but the connective tissue and all that is the space that provides the context for their work and the services and resources that are embedded in the space that they can't get anywhere else, whether you're talking about the uh, writing center or the comm lab or the 3D studio. So there are a number of different 3D printing labs on campus. We've taken a different and I think really unique approach to the 3D design studio. First of all, it's free thanks to the generosity of the provost. And uh, second, we don't really require any prior experience with 3D printing itself. Uh, with other 3D labs on campus, uh, you might drop off your SDL file and come back a few days later to pick up your print, which can be a little bit like eating at a fast food restaurant. Um, with us, we want you to know how to cook a beautiful meal as well as enjoy it. So come into the 3D design studio. We'll walk you through the process of um, setting up your file and creating the 3D print so that when you walk out, you've acquired a skill as well as had an experience that you didn't have before. We're harnessing the spaces of Newman Library in really unique and cool ways, I think, from course exhibits to the 3D design studio to the Fusion Studio. Take the Fusion Studio, for example which is our interdisciplinary collaborative space for undergraduate research. The history of innovation has shown us that good ideas happen, creative breakthroughs happen when they're brought into connection with other perhaps radically different ideas. And that's one of the guiding principles behind the Fusion Studio. What happens when you put a team of engineers in the same space and intellectual proximity to uh, industrial designers or biologists or historians. The Fusion Studio offers uh, a space for undergraduate researchers to begin and finish their project, uh, whether that's an app or uh, a competition uh, or something entirely different. With Fusion Studio, we really wanted to create a connective space where groups could get work done, but also that there would be an element of uh, an added layer of expertise and mentoring to it as well. So let's say a, a project might require data visualization. Well, they can rely on the Fusion Studio manager and coordinator uh, to either provide that expertise or to connect them with the librarians in Newman or with partners across campus to help them reach their goal and achieve their project. If students are interested in working in the Fusion Studio, they should go to fusionstudio.lib.vt.edu and submit a proposal. 
I am excited to work with a group of people who are passionate and energetic about creating a library that goes beyond a traditional understanding of what a library is and what it can do.